works of God and see the glory that will be bestowed upon you when you finally figure out that the more that you want to do something, the better off you'll be if you just go with God. Amen. Amen. Brandon's favorite Bible character. I use Brandon because I, I probably know him more than any other young person in this church that's relatively young. Amen. His favorite Bible character is Paul. Every day I hear a quote from Paul. Paul said this. I love you. Paul said that. But it's helped me learn a lot because I'm a real, I'm an Old Testament guy. In school, they asked me if I want to take Old Testament or New Testament survey. I said Old Testament because the New Testament, it's like everybody who's rehearsed it over and over again. So I want to be an Old Testament. I want to look in the Old Testament. But what I found out about the New Testament is, is that when the blood came and the blood was applied on the cross, the sacrifices weren't made anymore. And it probably was a little bit harder for the people to live right. Because it's not that hard to take a sheep to a priest and live for a year. It's not. But when you've got to decide every day, every second, what choice you're going to make. Am I going to go this way? Am I going to go that way? The blood's been applied. But it's not a once a year thing. You see, it's more than that. It's probably a two or three times a day thing. If you're like me, sometimes I get tempted in so many ways, I just have to close my eyes and say, God, work your magic. Because I can't do it on my own. I have no clue what I'm doing right now. And I have no clue where I'm standing right now. But then I look down and I see the rock of my salvation. I see the shield that he gave me to fight another day. And I have the sword of the spirit to guide my footsteps. Amen. Well, get back to Paul. Paul met a, he came to a stumbling block. <laughs> he came to a hold up. Probably the biggest hold up you can be in as a person in prison. He was bound. And I wonder when he looked up, you see, Scarlet never lost her faith. That's what I love about you, Scarlet. That's what I love about you, Chelsea. There's certain people that glow that no matter what in the world they're going through. Hey man, somebody could have shot their cat. Hey man, drugged their dog. All they gotta do is look at them and say, well, that didn't mean as much to me as my Jesus. And then they just have a smile on their face. Well, I wonder, hey man, if Paul was just having that smile on his face and was looking and saying, my God will deliver me. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for a while. Hey man. Because where was he going to go except for to stand still? Hey Amen. He couldn't go anywhere. The term is a six by eight cell. So it might have been a little bigger. But even if it was as big as this room, you ain't going to go nowhere. Hey Amen. Even if it was as big as, hey man, the gymnasium up there or this whole property combined, how much ground can you really cover in a wild time? How much ground can you really cover in a wild time? Amen. God. But the earthquake came and he was delivered because he stood still. He didn't fight the soldiers. He didn't get mad. He just waited upon the Lord. And the Bible says that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And they will mount up with wings as eagles. Hey Amen. You ever heard the term as a crow flies? Hey Amen. Because the reason, the reason they use that is because you can get to your destination a lot faster if you fly like a crow instead of drive in a car. So they say as a crow flies, it's five minutes, but if you drive, it's 20. Hey Amen. Well, God said you'll mount up with wings as eagles. You'll run and not be weary, walk and not faint. When you mount up with wings, you can look down at your problems and say, there's a road that I've taken, and there's a road that I've taken. Hey Amen. But I'm going to get there faster because I had the faith to carry on. Hey man, so what's the hold up? One more thing and I'm about done. Hey man, there was another man thrown in jail. His name was Peter. He was thrown in jail between two soldiers asleep. And the angel of the Lord came to him and led him out of every door of that jail. And now sometimes... I think about that scripture and I think 
you know, I've never had an angel just to lead me through a door that, that I can't even, that I, I can't even run through if I'm, if I'm full strength. Hey man, maybe it's locked or maybe it's a big steel door. You gotta open it. But the Lord said, for I am the door. And any man that want to enter into heaven must come through the door. Amen. And I wonder if he, the angel, when he grabbed his hand and he ran through the door, Peter was probably thinking, well, I've already been through the door that everybody says is so hard to get through. The door that everybody says they can't make it through alone. But what I found is that door is hard to get to if you ain't in the right state of mind. But when you get to the point to where you say, God, I'm ready to be used by you, that door just opens up. You don't even got to use any force. Amen. And if there's a theme to this message, it's that you don't have to use force with God. Amen. Because when you're standing still with no momentum, there's not a whole lot of force can be generated. Amen. What the best for you to do while you're standing still is to watch. To watch and see. And to look and say, I'm looking up into the hills where cometh my help. And my help, it cometh from the Lord. And I can see that there's clouds around me. And the daybreak hasn't come yet. Oh, but joy is right around the corner. The light is fading through the clouds. I can see the sun. It's peeking over the cloud. I can see it rising over the mountain. Oh, my night's just about over. And I can't do a stand still. And the Lord has helped me through it. Yeah. Amen. So what's the hold up? Hey man, what's your hold up tonight? Sarah, would you care to come get me a song? Hey man, I love every one of you. Hey man, what's the hold up? Oh, you're probably, there's some of the best Christians in here that I know that are fighting something. Because I can see it on you. And I have a burden for what you're fighting for. Hey man, and exactly what's going on right now is exactly what you need just to come to the altar and to pray and say, God, there's something that's holding me up and it might as well be you because I'm just going to stand here and I'm going to pray and dig my knees in the carpet and I'm going to figure out what the Lord wants me to do. But it's already been told time and time again to stand still. Amen. And she begins to play whatever she has. If you're lost, it applies to you too. What's the hold up? I done told you the door will open. You just got to accept it. You got to figure out what's most important for you. Hey man, you feel like everything's taken from you. Things are gone away. But there's a God. Let me tell you about my Jesus. He makes a way where there is no way. Hey man, there ain't no sinner that he can't save. Let me tell you about my Jesus. The one who parted the waters. He made the lame to walk and the dumb to talk. He's the same one that's standing there saying, come on. Hey man, I'll get you a firm foundation to stand on. Well, I'll show you the wondrous works that I will make manifest unto you. Hey man, is there anybody? I know there's some who need to come pray. And you're probably one of the biggest saints that I look up to. And all my, I don't know who it is. But I feel like there's somebody in here that might have something that they really just need to stand still. He said, I don't know what else to do. Hey Amen. Job had no idea what to do. He was standing there in between a whirlwind and a blizzard. Well, there's a, there's a man that I know who stands with you right in the eye of the hurricane while everything's going on around and gives you peace that surpasses all understanding. Hey man, gives you something to help you fight on another day. And if that's you, would you come pray just for a second? Hey Amen. Well, church, let's all come pray. One of the best things in church for me is the altar service because everybody gets a chance to come down and to give the Lord their heart and tell them exactly what they need done. 
and say, God, here it is. I'm going to stand here and watch you fix it. Whatever you will be. Amen. Do it. And I'll follow you. 